Hi Floss Tube, it's Julie with Reflections Framing and Stitching. Today is um, January 11th, I think, and it's about I don't know, 5.15 or so in the evening. It's very cold out there today. We had, we had snow, a little bit of ice, a lot of wind. Um, didn't amount to a whole lot, just enough to cancel school, uh, but I managed to make it into work. And two very hardy stitchers managed to come in and spend the day with me stitching. So I uh, want to thank them for keeping me company. Thank you, Shirley and uh, Sue. It was a, it was a good day. Um, let's see. What do I want to start with? Um, how about we say thank you, or I say thank you, to all of my subscribers and commenters uh, for sticking with me. I sure appreciate you know your loyalty and all your comments. Um, it, it still surprises me that anyone anyone wants to watch my videos. I'm not especially funny um, or entertaining, so it always it's always a a surprise when when you all say you enjoy the videos, um, and I appreciate that a lot. Um, I had a couple questions on the last uh, last video. Uh, Lynn, yeah, Lynn asked about um, what shoes I decided on for the wedding. Uh, I tried on a lot of different shoes, and <coughs> excuse me, I have a tickle. I'm gonna need a drink. <coughs> That's better. Sorry, sorry. Um, tried on a lot of different shoes, some with a heel, some without a heel. Um, I ended up finding a pair on the clearance rack um, that had kind of a, I don't know, I guess two or three inch heel. <coughs> I've been fine all day. Um, but it was a chunky heel, and I thought for sure it was going to uh, kill my feet but and my ankle. But surprisingly enough, it I did find the, the pair of flat shoes that I wore for the rehearsal dinner were actually a little more uncomfortable than the heels were. Um, so thanks for asking. And then Donna wanted to know what kind of varnish Dan uses or lacquer he uses on his wood projects, and he told me it is Watco Semi Gloss. So there you have that. Um, what else? What else is new around here? Um, New Year's Eve was, or New Year's Eve Eve, was uh, the shop's second anniversary. Uh, it doesn't seem possible that two years has has gone by, but it has. It's gone by quickly. It's been a good time. Um, I'm hoping for quite a few more. The shopping mall is up for sale, or or has been sold. One of the two. I'm not not quite sure um, the status at this point. So we're supposed to be renegotiating the lease uh, with the new owners. So I'm looking forward to doing that. And um, uh, let's see, Dan and I spent, um, along with Rodney and Doreen, spent New Year's Eve and New Year's Day here at the shop doing inventory. And then I spent, uh, Dan and I spent Tuesday also here doing inventory. <clears throat> but we got it done. Um, not exactly how I would have wanted to spend the holiday, but got to do what you got to do. Um, I'm just thrilled to pieces that it's over. I'm thrilled to death that 2017 is over. I'm hoping 2018 will be a little bit calmer, uh, a little less stressful. We'll have to, we'll have to see. Uh, it's not really starting out that way. Amy had a car accident right before Christmas. Uh, she's okay. The car is not. 
Uh, it got totaled. We found that out this week. They let us know that they did total the car. <coughs> so she's in Ohio, and we're here, so it's a little difficult trying to trying to get her a car from a distance. Um, we thought about a lease, uh, but I think we've decided that that a used car is probably going to be better. Um, so we've been kind of kind of spending a lot of time online looking at used cars. It it's just hard to do from a distance, and Dan's a little uncomfortable with the process, but can't really afford to go out there and help her and she needs the car by Tuesday so um, hopefully we can pull something together this weekend um, what else what else what else uh, there's been some sneak peeks of Abby's wedding pictures on Facebook and they're absolutely amazing so I can't wait to get some hard copies to show y'all um, I think the photographer did an amazing job so um, Hopefully those will be here before the next video. Um, let me let me refer to my notes. See what else I needed to cover. Um, oh 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 oh! I got into StitchCon. Yippee! Um, I thought I had. I was pretty sure I had because I didn't get the I didn't get the waitlist screen when I registered. But I got my confirmation, so I am in. My hotel reservation is made. Um, so now it's just a question of figuring out if we're going to fly or drive, and if we're going to fly, getting some tickets. Uh, I was thinking about everything I packed to go to our retreat here and how many bags I actually take and thinking about flying and I'm not sure how I'm going to do that because I do not travel lightly. So I'll have to figure something out there. I won't be able to bring my own hair dryer, which I usually do. Um, and then I usually bring my, my own makeup mirror because I need the magnification in order to see anymore. Um, so I'll have to figure out something there too. But anyway, got into StitchCon, looking forward to it. Um, I would show you what's new in the shop, except for there isn't anything new in the shop. We're kind of in this um, time period that I like to call the dead zone. Um, it's between Christmas and um, market, and very little is released during that time frame. So. Uh, I have nothing to show. I spent a lot of money replacing things that sold, but um, none of it was new and I don't really have anything. The, the little house needlework shop came in. That's about it. Um, I know everyone is excited uh, about the upcoming Farmhouse Christmas series uh, by Little House. and. Uh, I, of course, have jumped on that bandwagon also. I'm going to do mine as individual pieces because I want to work in some of the, the um, hometown holiday pieces in with the farmhouse Christmas and display them all together. So I'm trying to figure out what fabric I want to use. Um, I, like, I like 30 count, or, or I like not 30 count. Um, I like raw natural, but when you get to 40 count, it doesn't look like um, the lower count raw natural fabric. It's got a finer texture. Um, it's got more yellow to it than gray. Uh, so I may have to suck it up and do 36 count, which there's nothing wrong with 36 count. It's just I kind of feel like one thread isn't enough on 36 and two threads is too much on 36 so but I like the look of it better than the 40 count and I've dug through the 40s and I can't find anything anything I like there that will have the 
the look I'm going for. So I'm thinking 36 is probably going to be, 36 raw natural is probably what I'm going to use. Um, of course, I have no idea when I'm actually going to get to stitch any of that. I am, I'm, I'm a bit behind on uh, Hawk Run. December was supposed to be my Hawk Run month, and that didn't happen. Then I thought I'd get to it in January, and um, co for completely forgot that someone has to stitch the retreat piece. So that someone is me. So I've been working on that, along with all the other things that um, go along with retreat. So uh, it doesn't look like hawk run is going to happen this month uh, so I'll probably have two months to catch up on when I get back to it um, in the meantime when I wasn't working on the retreat piece I did take a little time to work on a couple of other things and I'll show you show you that I didn't it's not a lot of progress but even one stitch is progress so I'll take it um, and Dan and I, along with Marsha, Adam, and the two girls, went on a little adventure on Sunday. I decided that since Dan had cleaned the house on Saturday, I could maybe afford to take a couple hours that turned into five hours, um, trip out to the Brass Armadillo antique mall. I was looking for um, vessels for scissor frogs, um, otherwise known as flower frogs. A friend of mine had bought me a few of them for the, to restock the shop because I'm down to, I think, one. And um, I had some Christmas money burning a hole in my pocket, so off we went. Um, the girls were so well behaved. <laughs> Dan, Dan, Dan stayed with me for about five minutes, um, and then he kept he kept saying, "Oh, I can hear Emma. Oh, I can hear Emma." And I finally said, "You can go find Emma and hang out with her. I can I can browse on my own. I'll be fine." So he went off, and they. They pretty much stuck together. Marsha went off on her own with Adeline, and Adam kind of followed me around. Um, it was not the most successful trip to the antique mall that we've ever had. Um, I didn't find any real, real good vessels for the flower frogs, but uh, I found a couple. Uh, they're in the dishwasher at home waiting to be cleaned before I bring them in. Um, but I did find one treasure that I will share with you. Um, I've always kind of been a dish lover, just odds and ends. I, I don't have a full set of anything, um, but when I see a dish, I tend to buy it cause if I like it. And I've always admired the Johnson Brothers um, Village series. So I was walking along looking around for vessels and I found this little guy. It's from the Friendly Village series. It's called The Well. I love love a twall pattern, a little red barn or house. It's got a well in it, pretty flowers. I don't know what I'll do with it. I was thinking of stitching up maybe a m tiny like over one house or barn or something um, just to kind of set in the bowl maybe some buttons or something I don't know I just liked it so I bought it it was it was like eight bucks I mean how can you pass that up so anyway that was my one treasure Dan Dan bought a table. I guess he figures he's on the downside of his um, 
Martha Washington table that he's working on. Um, so he bought a bought a table he thought was cute, and that was about it. Um, Marsha was looking for a gift for someone. I'm not sure she found it, and Emma was looking at Barbies. Emma has discovered the world of Barbies, and Dan has taken her down to the basement and shown her Juju's Barbies. Um, so Juju's Barbies are gradually making their way upstairs. Last night they brought up the Barbie camper, a Barbie car, Barbie shoes, because none of the Barbies had shoes on their feet, and she apparently needs to put shoes on them. Um, and about, I don't know, there had to be at least six or eight Barbies. They were playing in the, um, my sister brought over a, one of those big plastic sled, slide things. Um, it's supposed to go outside, but she, when I was gone, brought it over and put it up in the library so it's still sitting in the library and so Dan and Emma were underneath that and playing Barbies and it's just it's too stinking cute I gotta tell you um, never thought I'd see the day Dan would play Barbies he never I don't think I remember him ever playing Barbies with our girls but he's down under there and he's playing Barbies with with Emma and uh, having a good time um, so I imagine I'm going to have to dig out Barbie furniture. And I have, I have it all. Furniture, soda fountains, um, dishes and vanities and a grand piano. And I mean, I have it all. And then some, then someone might as well get some use out of it. So. Um, I'm, we're going to have to go downstairs and kind of dig through the mess in the pit of despair and find that for her. Um, anyway, I've kind of rambled on a lot about nothing, really. Um, I mentioned over one. Um, so I thought I would share with you my first over one experience, which was actually a mistake. Uh, I read the directions wrong and so a number of years ago when this chart first came out it's Live Laugh Love by Lottie Da I kind of fell in love with that and decided to stitch it but I read the directions wrong it's 35 count. I did a conversion. It calls for Weeks Dye Works and Gloriana Silk, but I converted mine to Carrie's Silks. And I didn't realize I was stitching it wrong until it was finished. So here is Live, Laugh, Love, done over one on 35 count straw linen. And yes, it is a huge frame, but I love it. It's not to everyone's taste, the big frames, but I enjoy it. Anyway, that's come in there. That's pretty good. It's a beautiful frame, even if you don't like big frames. But that was my first uh, attempt at over one. I think it came out okay. But um, I feel kind of foolish that I read the directions wrong and didn't realize it until I was finished. Give it a try. Over one is fun. That was a full cross, too. Um, you probably could have tented it, but it was fine with full cross using the silk threads. They, Carrie's silks are pretty fine. Um, one of my favorite silks. I wish more people would would use her floss in their designs. The only bad thing about them is they they aren't color fast. So if you get them wet, they will run. Um, and now I will show you the couple of things that I have worked on just a little bit. Don't 
don't get excited or anything because there's not it's not it's not all that great but um, last night I kind of felt like something different so I dug out corners and curves from Rosewood Manor and again I have converted the colors to Carrie's silks um, I think I've shown this once before in a video that's what I've got done and last night I put in the bottom of this flower the green stem this green stem up here and the little X's in these boxes and that's as far as I got which isn't very far but it was kind of nice working on something that wasn't a, a have to um, it was just nice working on something that I just wanted felt like working on um, and then I don't know a week or so ago I kind of got the urge to work on again something else uh, so I pulled out my three things sampler that I started at fall retreat and haven't haven't really touched since then this is a more a Blackburn and again not a ton of progress on it I'm stitching this on 40 count vintage meadow rue from Lakeside Linens and I got I think it's these three letters and this done so again progress is progress right still enjoying this one I wish I could work on it some more but I do have I do have to work on that retreat piece I'm kind of waiting for a special little thing where I can finish it up um, which I can't tell you about because I don't tell people about what retreat is all about until until retreat um, speaking of which uh, registration begins tomorrow for those who were at the fall retreat and then Saturday for those who were not at fall retreat um, so those will probably be a couple busy days. It's been a, it's been busy here in the shop. Um, I think everyone kind of stayed home when the real cold blast of weather came, and then figured it wasn't going anywhere. So it, we we've been pretty busy. Today um, we were supposed to get a lot of snow and ice. It didn't really happen, but um, nobody came in today except for those two stitchers that brave the cold cruel world to keep me company um, which was it was that which was fine too um, allowed me to get some things done that needed to be done so tomorrow it's probably back to business as usual um, we're still working on barcoding the floss we're working on Carrie's creations right now we've got them all in the computer um, just printing out the labels and labeling everything. It's a little little time consuming, but it's gonna be awesome when it's done. It that little scanner thing is just great when you're checking people out, it goes a lot faster. Fewer chances to make mistakes. Um, so yeah. Looking forward to having that done too. Um thinking if there's anything else uh, I have not watched many videos I caught a little bit of uh, Bendy Stitchy the other day um, <laughs> I had a laugh at her for hoarding the fancy floss and I told her I said hoarding fancy floss is kind of like you know having china that you never use or, or a quilt that you never cuddle under it's kind of like what's the point in having it uh, so use that fancy floss don't hoard it it's meant to be used uh, no point in sitting on it just use it and um, cut a little bit of Pam and Steph I'm behind on Priscilla I've been trying to watch at least one new person a week and I haven't done that um, 
I'd like to do better. I would like to do better. Anyway, that's about all I have. Rags is, I'm sure, ready to go home and go potty. She hasn't gone all day. Um, I, I swear, she's got a bladder the size of Lake Michigan. Um, but I'm sure she she's ready to go. Dan's at home already waiting on me, so I'm going to... I'm going to hope this is good and, and uh, go on home. So y'all take care. Get some stitching done. Um, oh, let wait. Uh, the flu. You guys get your flu shots if you haven't. Yes, it's only 10% effective, but it will provide you some protection. And this thing is wicked evil. So get your flu shot if you haven't. If you are sick, stay home so you don't infect anyone else. And uh, if you see someone who's sick, tell them to go home. We don't need it. And um, I just want those in California who have been, uh, once again, this time devastated with mudslides, my prayers are with you. Um, I, I can't imagine first living through those fires and then and then something like that happens so um, saying lots of prayers and with that I'm going to say goodbye take care see you next time